Hey guys, what's up? I'm back today with another chunk update. Now, these are actually chunks that I had grown from my mother plant, the Philodendron Gloriosum um, Dark Form. So, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to put these guys down and show you the mother plant and what she looks like now. All right, so here is the mother plant. Now, I did have to cut her back a little bit because, um, well, the leaves weren't very nice and I figured, not for me, I don't want it. So I did cut it back and these are the original leaves here. Um, they're doing okay, like the original leaves. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna like kind of die off, but I did get a couple of new leaves, which I'm fairly happy about. So this one here is the one that I'm most excited about. So this one, is bigger than my head so i'm really happy for this one i hope that it continues to give me really big leaves and i do have another one that's just trying to come out right now so i'm happy i'm really happy that this leaf turned out to be really perfect because then i don't feel so bad about this leaf that's kind of on its way out but it's still trying to hold on but uh yeah i think this is the most perfect leaf it's ever given me and I'm here for it. So like I had mentioned, the mother plant is a philodendron gloriosum dark form and these chunks grew up quite a bit and um, they do kind of look a little bit faded but that's because I may have placed it too close to the grow lights and they're kind of fading a little bit but you know, it, it'll be okay. I'm just gonna move it further away from the light so that it can continue to grow and thrive. And um, I did repot these guys because I've noticed that when the new roots were coming in, they were kind of pushing the stump up. So, I don't know, it was looking kind of funky. So it was, it was time for a repot. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. And each one, you can see a growth point. I'm gonna show you this one because it's kind of like the most prominent right now it's not hiding so that right there that pink spike is the growth point so each one of my um, my gloriosomes are doing very well and I'm happy and I hope like you know new owners are gonna be happy with these guys too now to end this video I do want to show you two more chunks now these are actually anthurium chunks that I had cut at the end of summer and I don't know I was just like these anthuriums are getting very tall very big so let's um, cut them down and propagate so I want to show you this one first now this one gets me most excited because of the silvery leaves. Now this one is my Anthurium Silver Blush. You can just see how silvery it is. And it's just, it's so cute. I'm, I'm so in love. So this is actually a bottom cutting of my Anthurium Silver Blush. And all I did was took a cutting, shoved it in soil, and then I bagged it. And it's given me this little plant now and I'm so happy it's so cute and you know what anthuriums I find grow very quickly like once they get going they really like get going so I'm excited for this because I love silvery leaves and this is just super silvery so I'm I'm excited for this one so in my hands I actually have two chunks and they are the Anthurium Dorayaki. Now, this one clearly didn't make it because there's nothing on it. But I think it's because this one was the very bottom, like this. So this was the very bottom. And because it had a lot of roots, it just didn't, I don't know, I just find that it just didn't do very well. So I'm still left with this chunk right over here. But I am going to put it back in moss just to see what happens. And this one, I'm very excited about. So this chunk knew the assignment and it put off two leaves for me. And it's working on one more. I hope you can see that. It's just, it's just coming up. So, so I'm actually going to put this guy back in moss. And I think um, in like a couple of weeks or so, once this new leaf kind of pushes off, I'm going to... Uh, put it in in soil and let it do its thing but 
Oh, Dorayakis are really cute too because they're like super round and they just look like little bowls. <laughs> but um but yeah so this one I grew in moss the other one I grew in soil and quite honestly I think you can do either or you just need to be mindful and give it a hundred percent humidity and they'll just give you cute little baby leaves so that's all for today I hope you guys had a great week and I'll see you guys next time bye